Hi, Earth Angels and Light Warriors. This is Jill Kempner, Angel Professional. I would like to personally invite you to um, an upcoming workshop called, um, a series of workshops called Crystals and Angels. And the first um, workshop is on Wednesday. It's Crystals and Angels Renew Your Devotion, Wednesday, May 20th from 7 to 9 p.m. Um, for those of you that are new to me, um, again, I'm Jill Kempner, Angel Professional. I served as a massage therapist and a yoga teacher for 20 years before evolving into this work I do today as an angel professional. As an angel professional, what I help you do is to relax your body and mind, release those issues in the tissues like stress, tension, anger, pain, fear, or trauma, so that you can receive more love from your angels to heal your body. So right now I'm writing my book called Receiving from Your Angels, Four Practices to Relax, Release, and Receive to Heal Physical Pain. And that's my mission, to help you heal your physical body with the help of the angels. And so this um, upcoming workshop is based on the practices in my book. So each, so when I was, so I've been writing my book and you know, I was sharing in my blog that it's it's such a, it's so tender, it's very vulnerable to share your personal stories. And it's also really freeing and liberating because when you share them, you're helping other, I'm helping other people. And, and when you share them, you are alchemizing it, you're transforming it. So there's a lot of healing that's happening from just writing the book and sharing the stories. And while I was, and of course the book is about angels, right? So I was thinking, you know, I've been thinking and praying, like how do the archangels fit into my book? Because I was really clear that I didn't want this book to be, you know, an encyclopedia of the archangels. And, but at the same time, I knew that they needed to be in the book because the archangels have helped me so much to heal my body. And so I was really praying and, and meditating and just kept listening. And during the course of my second angel teleclass, the idea, it finally like landed. I was like, finally. <laughs> and that each of the practices in my book, so there's four practices, have, a, have several archangels of that practice. And I was seriously like, oh my gosh, this makes so much sense. And I, I felt so grateful. And then, like I said, so a few years ago, I had received a download that each archangel is connected with an element, earth, water, fire, wind, and storm, and, and then a Reiki symbol. And I realized that the, there's a connection between the archangels and the crystals, which I love, and I'm gonna talk more about. <laughs> and in this series of classes, I'm going to share the practice in my book. So we're going to begin with Renew Your Devotion, which is Wednesday, um, May 20th. So that's actually going to be May 2020 <laughs> um, from 7 to 9 p.m. And this workshop is going to be over Zoom. It's a two-hour workshop that will be recorded. So if you can't join us live, you can join us um You can get the recording and get all of that energy and information um, from the... Thank you, angels. They just reminded me of something <laughs> um, from the recording itself. So that's so awesome. And everyone who joins us live also gets the recording so that you can refer back to the meditation and the energy and information that's um, available for you. So upon discovery, oh yeah, thank you, angels. There's something else they wanted to say. So I, I wanted to name this because I think it's really important to be vulnerable and it's really important to be just authentic. That's part of my medicine is transparency. So part of why this idea didn't come to me sooner was I was actually resisting including the archangels in my book, partly from what I had said before about not wanting it to be an encyclopedia of the archangels, but also because I had this fear. I have a part that was afraid to be wrong. I had a part that was afraid to say which archangels were part of practice number one and then to change it to be well to be wrong right um or or to have to modify it or change it and i realized how much that was blocking me from moving forward so i wanted to name that kind of normalize that we often have that part right a, a part that's afraid to be wrong 
that was really blocking the flow of my angel guidance and my angel love, um, me from receiving my angel's guidance and my angel's love, that fear of being wrong. And of course now that I know that that's happening, I'm working with that part, the angels, my soul, are helping that part to heal and unburden. And so I just wanted to name that because I think it was, it, was a, it was a part of the process. So if you're, I know many of you are creating projects right now, if you're working on a project, know that that part, <laughs> you know, it's kind of a saboteur, <laughs> can be there and that you can work with your angels and your beautiful soul and the practices in my book to bring healing to whatever, you know, inner resistance is coming up. So thank you for reminding me of that, angels. <laughs> and so... We, like I said, we're going to begin um, Crystals and Angels Renew Your Devotion, and we're going to be talking about the archangels of that practice. And I'm also saying that I'm allowing myself to change that. If after the course of this, you know, class and series, like, you know, from the feedback that I get, from the downloads that I get when I share, if there's something to evolve, I'll allow it to evolve. And that's releasing perfectionism, releasing the fear of being wrong, and just allowing you know, um, my truth to come forward. So that just feels really good. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about the archangels and their medicine. So there's four archangels for each practice and there's four practices. And I know when I got all this download, I was like four, four, right? Four, 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 the angels are with you and all around you. So I knew that there had to be four practices in my book when working with the angels. So practice number one is, um, Archangel Michael, the protector angel. Archangel Ariel, the angel, uh, she's an earth warrior angel, the angel of your soul star chakra. Um, Archangel Sandalphon, the angel of your earth star chakra, the angel of gentleness. And Archangel Metatron, the angel of your stellar gateway chakra, the angel, the builder angel. So these are the four archangels. And like I said, remember, each archangel is connected with an element. And because, and thank you angels, because the crystals are also categorized in elements. So there's earth crystals, water crystals, fire crystals, wind crystals, and storm crystals. And so that's the connection between the crystals and the angels. There's also other connections. Um, crystals can be connected to angels through their color, through the vibration that they, through their crystal medicine. Oh my gosh, I mean, <laughs> there's so much medicine available from the archangels. Um, and what we're, that's what one of the things we're going to talk about. So we're going to talk about the archangels of the practice, and I'm going to share with you their their color, the chakra they're connected with, um, the 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 element, of course, because that's a big part of it, and then also some of their healing gifts. Right? It won't be all. It's not all about the archangels. It's really about the practice in my book. Right? Renewing your devotion to receiving love from your angels to heal your body. That's the purpose, right? And then using all of these tools, using the archangels to heal your body. Thank you. Using the crystals to heal your body, okay? So um, then we're gonna talk about which crystals are connected with those archangels through the element, and there'll be some other connections as well, and talking about how the crystals will open your intuition how the crystals help to remember crystals are amazing, right? I mean, I love crystals. I know everyone who's going to watch this video and take this class loves crystals. <laughs> and you know, crystals are not just beautiful, right? Of course they're beautiful, but they're grounding, they're healing, they're clearing, they're empowering, they raise your vibration and they have medicine. The crystals have medicine. The archangels have medicine. And these are gifts from the creator. These are gifts from source for us to utilize to heal our body, to heal our body, to deepen our body soul connection. And of course, to raise our vibration so we can receive more love from our angels. So the crystals we're going to talk about the crystals that are connected with that angel and then we're going to kind of hone in on one crystal for each angel so that I can show you how to create a simple crystal grid for renewing your devotion. And I'm going to I'm hearing that I will be sharing what crystals those are so um paying attention to the email that it's in once you register, paying attention to the Facebook invite, I'll be posting things on there as well. And Thank you, the crystals. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you a very simple way of clearing your crystal, 
so that we are clearing any old um, programs or um, um, energy from the crystal. I'm going to show you a simple way to empower and charge your crystal. And then a very simple five crystal grid template that will help you to secure and anchor the energy of the archangels and the connection to that practice in my book. So I'm going to be sharing the steps to renew your devotion, um, the archangels that are part of that practice and their medicine, the crystals that are connected with the angels and the archangels, and then how to um, create a beautiful crystal grid. We're also going to end the, I'm not sure if we're going to end or begin the class, but I'm going to listen to the angels with a beautiful meditation where we're going to meditate with the archangels of renew your devotion and the crystals connected with that and all the crystals of that, of those elements. And let's see if there's anything else the angels are saying. So yes, this workshop again is over Zoom. And there's this is actually the first workshop in a series of four because I'm gonna have, I'm gonna share all of the archangels connected with each practice in my book. And those, um, all the dates are gonna be on my website. I have the second date I know is Wednesday, June 3rd for um, the second practice, relax and listen to your body. <laughs> um, Again, it's 7 to 9 p.m. This workshop, this series of this workshop itself is valued at over $50 and is being offered right now for $25, again, over Zoom. And if you can't join us live, know that this, this um, workshop is going to be recorded. So everyone who's there live is going to receive the recording. And then everyone who can't be there live is still going to be able to see the recording and watch it on your own time and connect with all that beautiful energy and medicine. Um, and I think that was everything that I wanted to share about that workshop. I have a little template here because it helps me to stay organized <laughs> and also make the videos as short as I can. Um, so my website, jillkempnerhealing.com. You can also find this information out on my Facebook page, Jill Kempner Angel Professional. If you're not, fo um, if you're not following me yet, take a moment to follow me so that you can get all of the updates and I absolutely look forward to connecting you with this amazing series. Oh uh, yeah, there's a new, I kind of have a little bit of a new process. So first you pay for the, all this is on my website. First you pay for the class is step one. And then the step two is that you go back to my website and you click, click here, the link, and it will take you to an automatic registration link. So I'm trying to automate a few things to create some more flow. And of course, if you have any questions about this, you can email me and um, I look forward to connecting with you soon, sharing my love and passion of the archangels and the crystals to heal your body. Um, have a beautiful day. Thank you so much. Namaste.